my name is Olu Shoga Shofolao Atibioke Olori Omoba. I started scouting in 1974 as a young scout at early primary school in Kariakoko. And when I gained admission into secondary school, I was a troop leader of First Akoko Troop, British College in Kariakoko, in 1981. It was the same school that I became a scout leader when I went for my, they call it, preliminary training course then, in 1985. I grew through rank and file, becoming the group scout leader, assistant district commissioner. Before I went to Aqua Ibom in 1996, and in Aqua Ibom 96, 97 through 2000, I was the assistant state training commissioner because I'd gone for my wood back then. And from there, came to Lagos, assistant headquarter commissioner scout. Later, I became the adult and scouting commissioner for scout in Lagos State. It was that position I was until I was appointed to national to be the National Adult and Scouting Commissioner. In 2013, I was democratically elected as the first democratically elected Chief Commissioner Scout of Nigeria. And I held that position for four years. And within that position, I became African Scout Foundation member. I became the bronze, silver, gold and platinum awardee and I'm looking forward to be a diamond awardee one of these days and uh, the board of African Scout Foundation appointed me as the vice chairperson of the foundation making Professor Mrs. Kegozi, uh, Maggie Kegozi, the chief scout of Uganda, the chairperson of the foundation and prior to then I was the vice chairperson of the 52 Commonwealth Scout Association of, my, of the world Commonwealth scouts mean people that were colonized by the Britain. Recently, the Ondo State Scout Council sent me a letter appointing me as their first deputy scout president. So, this is where we are, and the goal is to develop scouting in Ondo State. Olusoga, so for long, I know him to be a good leader, a motivator and an achiever. He has one time been the Chief Commissioner Scout House of Nigeria. And for him to come and take a position of Deputy President today, he is showing that it is better and good for a person to serve. He has come to serve. I know him to be a good man. I know Olori Omo, Olori Omo Baolusha Ogasho Folaon as a motivator and uh, easy going with uh, due process. And for him, to be appointed as the Deputy President of Fondo State Scout Council. We believe so much in him that he can deliver. He can deliver in the sense that he can, he can turn around the association within the system. And we believe so much in him that uh, he so much has passion for the youth in particular. He has passion for the youth, he is a motivator, and we believe strongly with him on board on those things going to turn around and uh, being the vice uh, um, being the vice uh, person vice chair person for for the scout in nigeria as a african scout foundation he has delivered he give the good account of himself in that place and being the chief commissioner of scout nigeria too we believe strongly that he has contributed his best to the scout nigeria and that is why we are looking at him for him to come back home, to come and give back to his community, which is Ondo State. And we believe with him, the member of the association in Ondo State will benefit immensely. And even Nonska will benefit immensely within the shortest time. My advice for the youth that are scouts, they are the primary owners of scouts. We adults are just coming in as supporters. So we need their commitment into scouting. Like we said, Scouting breeds leadership, good citizenship, and if you look at our country today, they are full, oh, the country is full of different vices, ranging from kidnapping, or cultism, or Yahoo, what have you. So, this is a good opportunity for us now to bring scouting, to remedy all these vices within our society. And 
within Ondo State right now, we've been talking with the governor. Very soon we'll be uh, doing the investiture of the governor as the president of the state and some of his commissioners. Our goal is to chase scouting back to our communities, back to school, back to our churches, back to our mosques, so that Ondo State will be a better place to live in. And again, to the entire youth in Nigeria, we are looking at them as future leaders of tomorrow. Uh, there is this saying that if you want to develop a nation, build the youth. If you want to develop a home, build the women. So, because we want to develop Nigeria, there is this need for us to engage our youth positively right now. And we're going to be sending out a lot of programs going forward. Uh, Food for Life program, Messenger of Peace, Dialogue for Peace. A lot of youth involvement programs will come up. Scouting for Actions and all this, they will be out to improve scouting at the base. And the ultimate goal is to tie it to our vision. The vision of scouting worldwide is by 2023, we want to raise 100 million young scouts that are of positive changes within their community. And if you're saying 100 million young scouts, it's not looking at the adults. So together, maybe by 2023, we'll be looking at a total of like 250 million scouts worldwide but the youth will be like 100 million in it. So it's a huge task for all of us that we must do. To me, Olu Shoga Tibioko represents a fine gentleman who is committed to quality service delivery, who is passionate about development of young people, and who has committed all his resources, both human and financial resources, to ensure that the young people of Nigeria have the best through scouting. He's an international scouter, but who decided to come local by ensuring that the local people actually get access to scouting and quality youth program. He's a fantastic person and I want to give it to him that he has done so well for the development of scouting in Nigeria and the world at large. That is why I chose to take this appointment. I started scouting in Nando State and today or currently I'm um, the delegated president, let me use that word, because they don't have a president yet. I want to be remembered for one thing, because as they saying in my language that a good name is better than silver and gold, that when they mention people's involvement in youth development tomorrow within Ondo State, that my name will be counted worthy. So I want to contribute to my quota to the youth development in my state through scouting. Nothing is politics about it. We are uh, political in scouting. It's just to develop young ones coming up. Thank you.